Okay, here we go guys, finishing up uh, the last two parts of time management, the secret of real estate. And let's jump right in because time management, man, if I can make this work, the, uh, the efficiency of my business, the productivity of my business shoots through the roof. So the first point I have written down is schedule. Um, where is your schedule? I mean, really, where is your schedule? It's on my phone. Is it on your phone? Is there things on your schedule? Is it visible? Do you look at it? Um, man, the blessing of technology these days is your ability to synchronize your phone to your tablet, to your desktop, and be able to have your schedule everywhere. So at the moment of impact, when somebody wants to make a schedule, or uh, your ability to resource your schedule and find out if you have time for someone or to make time for someone, a buyer or a seller, um, how about this, making an appointment right there at the open house or write that moment on the phone with the referral from your sphere of influence, or calling that expired listing, really being able to accessibly and, uh, and, and, and realistically use your schedule as the tool, the main tool for the efficiency of your business. But if I'm not resourcing it, if it's not out in front of me, um, then, then I have a problem. Right? I, I, my schedule's always up in front of me during the day, and I'm working it, I'm, I'm reviewing it, I'm referencing it, and my ability to, to have that in front of me all the, uh, all the time only allows me to complete my schedule 75 to 80 percent of the time. Why? Because I'm busy. Because the whirlwind. Because somebody pulls me aside. Because uh, some uh, some shuffle in my ability to prioritize something becomes more important or less important at the time. So I, I'm just never going to stay on schedule 100% of the time. And that's okay. Give yourself some grace to be able to understand that you're not going to stay on schedule all the time, but that by having it up in front of you uh, and by having it as something that you're always referencing and you're always making sure that you're, that you're going to allows you to have better, more consistent execution in your time management. Think about what that's going to do for your efficiency and your productivity. Now, look, if you're old school and you need that eighth grade daily planner and you've got to write everything down with a pencil, then uh, then that's OK, because uh, where is that? And are you referencing that? Is your schedule for the week or for the month up on your uh, mirror where you brush your teeth or in your closet where you get dressed somewhere so that you're referencing that? Now, that can be a lot more difficult because that's a lot of erasing. And if you're erasing it, you should be replacing it electronically. Man, that's so much easier to do. So think about moving to the 21st century. And, and Paul, I got to see it. I got to have it in front of me. You can still do that with electro electronically, um, but it's just a new condition, a new habit that you're going to be forming so that you can be more efficient with your time management and then uh, obviously more efficient with your productivity and efficiency. So seeing is conceiving. And conceiving is believing. So with whatever way you do it, just make sure that you have that up in front of you so that you can be more efficient and productive in your, uh, in your time management. And that little tip and trick for time management, talk to you guys next time. Go make some money. This is